Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you my two bunnies morning routines. So this is Kuro and Aragon. So a lot of you might have met Aragon before, which is the white bunny. And I got lots of people requesting to see more of him. So his brother is Kuro, which is the little black one. And they sit here and wait for us to get up and then um, that's when the feeding and everything begins. So here they are just waiting patiently. So the first thing I do is open the back door. We've got a little courtyard out here with grass, which the bunnies can run around and play in and eat the grass. And we've got this little door here open so they can play throughout the day. And yeah, there's Kuro exploring. And this is what their hay station or feeding station looks like when it's at full capacity. So I'm about to change it now, but they've got lots and lots of hay here and then they just poop and pee obviously under there as well. So I'll change this once a week. So it's def definitely in need of a good change. And they sit and they eat here always together. They do everything together. And before I change their hay, I'm just going to give them some salad leaves. So these are the ones I buy. And they get super, super excited when I <laughs> give them these greens. These are their favorite part of the day. So I don't give them too much. I just give them about the size of their head each so one sort of small handful each and um, these are organic greens so um, there's no pesticides or anything in them and they love them as you can see Kuro is going crazy <laughs> for them And I really love listening to them eating. It's so satisfying. It's almost like an ASMR, just hearing them chomp. So here is some ASMR bunny eating green sounds for you. So this is what I use when I'm cleaning up their litter tray. It, they're really big, so it fits a lot of hay in there. They're biodegradable as well, which is really good. And these are the training pads I use, and they're 50% recycled. So I use that to line the bottom of the litter tray as well. So it makes cleaning way easier.
So instead of playing outside like the bunnies usually do, they find this whole cleaning process fascinating and they decide to run around my feet and kind of get in the way while I'm doing all of this, which is kind of cute but also a little bit annoying. Um, so yeah, they're very curious to know what I'm doing with their litter tray. So once I've taped down the training pad, I just use masking tape and it's really easy to pull off when there's all the hay in there as well. Then I use uh, a little level, which is what holds the, um, the hay that we've compressed into the container and they eat oaten hay, that's their favorite type of hay. And then we've got little magnets at the top which secures it in place so it doesn't fall onto them or anything. And then I just use 100% recycled newspaper bedding and this isn't dusty or anything for them, this is um, what they prefer and I just put that on the bottom. So here's Aragon in his freshly made litter tray and he's just having some hay. Kuro is looking for a treat and you might have noticed as well that uh, Aragon isn't as fluffy as he usually is. So he has had a trim which is where they cut his fur so it doesn't get matted and knotty because his type of breed, he's a mini lop cashmere breed and his fur gets really really long. So every three months he needs a professional trim. So he's very happy right now. He's a bit cooler and he doesn't have any knots. And yeah, just enjoying life. So Aragon has this habit of finding a piece of tasty hay and then bringing it onto the mat and not eating it on his litter tray because he has a fear of missing out if he can't see what's happening in the other rooms. So sometimes he just comes and eats his hay here. So we've also got a water bowl here and the water just drops down automatically when it runs out and we refill this probably every couple of days. And of course they always drink the water together at the same time, which is super cute. So sometimes in the morning as well, they'll get a little treat. So here I've just got a little bit of banana and Aragon has heard his name, so he's coming over, but Kuro's not as bright as Aragon is and doesn't recognize his name yet. So, um, so Aragon gets his first and then I'll bring Kuro's out to him later.
Then after about an hour of playing outside, they usually come inside and eat some more hay. And we've got another little hay station here. But this one's just for eating. This isn't for peeing and pooping. And Aragorn likes to sit in it, even though he should be sitting outside it and eating. But that's just what he does. And Kuro will usually lie here next to the um, window and he doesn't, he gets really upset when we close it so he likes to sit just next to it so um, whenever we go to close it he just runs back outside again. So he likes to sit here for a little while and guard the entrance to the outside world. And then finally after all of that they like to go upstairs and we've built this little bunny castle for them it's just like a multi-level house for them to go in and they always sleep in here and it's just actually out of an old bunnings storage unit and we just put holes in it and then just made the floor uh, have like a bit of material on it so it's non-slip and they love coming up here and they love sleeping here so this is um, their little home and yeah they just sleep in this area side by side every single day so it's Aragorn getting ready for a nice day of sleeping. So they usually sleep during the day and in the morning and the late afternoon, that's when they're most active. So I hope you liked this video of my bunny's morning routine and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!